Hello, I'm in the factory workshop here in Vienna with Forik and uh, I'm very encouraged to see that there's a piano being made in Austria now. Um, it's 80% at least made in Austria. Uh, the, the frame and the stringing is done in the Ningbo factory where they make all the other pianos, but this one is genuinely Austrian and it's a Renner action, so it's high quality European piano. This is Renner's premium quality felt. It's more expensive, Vika Special, I believe it's called, and uh, is uh, really much better. Uh, so Forex, I, I haven't really tested it myself yet, but uh, Forex also used a special technique for um, voicing. And let's listen to this tenor area, which really impresses me. Same stringing, obviously, that you get on the Chinese pianos, but the hammers make so much difference as to how they bring the harmonics out. Listen to the break point. That's just perfect. Slight change here, which you always get on all pianos, even top quality ones, between uh, the steels and the copper. But just as such a beautiful throughout tone. And, and this piano hasn't been finished off the voicing yet either. We'll, uh, we'll be looking at the piano put together in the, the, in the main Forex shop in a minute. But I want to show you a few more innovations here. Now I won't be covering anything in this video and Forik are going to make a much more professional one themselves. Uh, but this is uh, before theirs comes out and we're going to look at some very interesting features. There's a frame round here, you'll see there's no um, wood along the bottom there. Um, Forik will no doubt explain a bit more on their own video which uh, will be great to see when, when we see it, we'll learn a lot more. Now I think this is really worth mentioning. Uh, there are pianos around these days, and there's videos showing methods of repeat, making a piano like a grand piano, but this is the simplest one um, that I've seen so far, and basically that spring is encouraging it back in. Uh, I've mentioned before that Beckstein used a similar technique, but this is more simple than the Beckstein and easier to work on. Um, so you see how it's pushing the jack back under to give fast repetition in a similar si system to a uh, similar fashion to what you got on the grand piano. Obviously it's not as good as a grand piano lever but it's a, a long way towards it. I'm not sure if we're going to capture the difference well here but uh, if you watch this one and with the spring it just moves forward very slightly. With the spring unregulated, this one's not been regulated, there's only one regulated on this piano so far and that one doesn't go forward. Sorry if you can't capture that, but I think you'll be able to see that. And my hand's not that steady either. So it is going forward slightly and uh, allowing for better repetition. You don't have to bring the key right up. So as on the grand piano, I don't have to bring my finger right up to repeat. Of course, you don't on all uprights, but you can, you, it's more reliable on, with that system installed. And here's the one that was not... I, I don't play music with very fast repetition anyway, but um, I, I think it will be uh, very encouraging for musicians, that. Something else that I'm sure will please technicians. This is English felt, apparently, in here. I chose, uh, researched and found that's the best felt. This is beach inset here and beach inset here. And what a, what a tremendous thing to think of doing. Obviously, this is a more expensive piano, but there's a good reason for it. And instead of lead as key weights, you see they've marked off where the weights are supposed to go. Um, they are using a screw and they've painted it over. So as with lead tarnishes and uh, this system, I think would be much more reliable in the long run. Now, interestingly, the cabinet here is not, uh, is not uh, high density fiber but it is genuine wood, apparently birch. I uh, haven't verified that. There was a slight doubt uh, by the person who showed me around as to whether that was birch, but it's hardwood, definitely. Uh, beach used on the keys there. You see, the best quality possible. They've really, uh, for such a dedicated firm dedicated to quality, I'm very uh, keen on working together with them. We've been talking about a couple of things which I mentioned on previous videos, that, uh, and they're definitely going to incorporate them, so that's very encouraging. There's the Renner sticker on there. So it's not a Chinese action. Uh, the only Chinese bit is the frame and the strings, which are excellent. Uh, but the action is where very often p Chinese pianos let us down a bit, though the ones that Forik get from Ningbo factory are very good. I'm sure these Renner actions are going to be the very best in the world. So here's a matte white. It's a, a matte white apparently I'm told is environmentally friendly uh, paintwork on this as opposed to polyester. Um, and made in Austria, can genuinely say the piano's been made in Austria, which is very encouraging. I think the white and the chrome here go together 
particularly well. So beautiful, and uh, my colleagues working together with me uh, from Forex. As and you can see, there's a front panel here. We'll look at that when we look at the one in the shop. Uh, so wonderful inventions. The other thing I forgot to mention, I'm sure this will really interest technicians. It certainly interests me anyway. Uh, there's the shop. Look at the capstans at the back there. I just want you to look at it before I tell you. Uh, I, I would never have spotted it if I hadn't been told. But look at the capstans. Well, perhaps it's obvious on this film. Look, look at the way the, the weapons are. And uh, capstan. Look, the, the sharp ones are, are lower than the natural ones, and that's to do with geometry, and apparently because the sharp is shorter, they feel, for it feel that the capstan should be at a different height. So that's the kind of thought that's put into the piano by Forrick. As I say, I'm sure Forrick are gonna make a better video than this, but I'm, I'm excited to put this one out to encourage the company and hopefully get some sales of this piano. It's obviously it's made in Austria, then it's gonna be dearer, unfortunately, but well worth the extra money. That's the key bed to see what thought's gone into it. That's the cross section of it. And this is the piano without the case, of course. And there's bits of case uh, sprayed and ready to put on. Uh, two different woods. Um, I can't remember what they are, unfortunately. Um, but uh, uh, as I say, they're hard woods and not, not uh, high, fi high density fiber. And back to the one that's nearly finished. And we'll be looking now at the one in the shop uh, on the next video. Thank you very much.